What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Trouble and welcome to the Fall Gaming Challenge. Little turkey over here, leprechaun up here, horse meat over here, Santa Claus right here. We're good to go. This is the seasonal showdown where I face off against a bunch of other channels in a brouhaha battle royale of gaming goodness. This year's competitors are Jobless Garrett, my good friend who will soon be my enemy, Jerome ASF, who you know from Minecraft Mania, and Level Cap Gaming, who has a very sweet channel as well. And we're all part of this Lenovo paid promotion to showcase some sweet games, earn some amazing accolades for the channel, and give you guys a chance to win a beautiful gaming laptop. I've got a brand new Lenovo Y700 that I'm be giving away, so let's get in to all of the details. Okay, so that sets everything up, but here are some super important details. I'm giving away a Lenovo Y700 laptop courtesy of the grand folks over there at Lenovo. This is a super sick computer that will get you going for all the good games this fall and beyond. 2017 is a crazy year, so you're going to want to have something that you can take with you so you're able to play all of this year's hits and all of next year's gems wherever you may be. I'll give you the, all the details on how to enter. There's no purchase necessary nothing crazy it's just tweeting or retweeting and the details will be in the description and at the end of the video so make sure you pay attention to those otherwise you won't be entered to win and you'll want to be entered to win because this is going to be good now for the fall gaming challenge the first week i'm duking it out against jobless garrett and we are playing battlefield one and this takes place on the lenovo y700 desktop basically the counterpart to that laptop this right here is my new friend Meet the Lenovo Idea Center Y700 desktop. He is a very kind and courteous desktop PC powered by the latest Intel Core i series processors. Got good old NVIDIA GTX, beautiful graphics in here, and tool free component upgrade in action, which means you can get in here and modify any parts, upgrade it over the long term, however you want, whenever you want. And it's good to go right now for the games you want to play. So, We've introduced ourselves a little bit. He's going to help me out in Battlefield 1. That red, though, I'm getting some extreme heat. You are quite the beauty. I'm going to take my socks off here. It's just getting too freaking hot in here before we get to Battlefield. Nobody wants sweaty feet while you're gaming, so we'll get those off. And me and Lenovo Y700 are going to do work against jobless gamers. Garrett, Garrett, we're coming for you. Me and Lenovo, we're coming for you. We're bringing the heat. I got no socks on, no holds barred. We are ready to bring it straight to you in Battlefield 1. And that is the job that has just begun. So let's get to the gameplay and kick that bearded boy's butt. Alrighty, the party is here. We've got this uh, great fellowship established trying to clear the wall, which I thought was like a hilarious start uh, to the match. All of our soldiers are just chilling here. And then I saved the bunch by getting that guy out of here. Now we are playing to see who can get the top score. It's me versus Garrett. Who can achieve the highest score in a round of domination, trying to capture the flags and cruise that score to the top of the scoreboard. Now, Garrett is a pretty darn good Battlefield 1 player. He's played a lot of the game. I have not played a lot, so I'm kind of the underdog here, and I was gonna do my best to capture as many flags as I could to try to use those as score boosts for me. So you'll notice that is my goal here, rocking the assault class. And we have cleared the wall, entered the battlefield, and we are ready to start acquiring some of these capture points. So that was really funny how the team decided they wanted to go do this whole like uh, exterior thing at the very beginning of the match. But a big explosion gives us just enough cover to get that capture right there. Grenades are coming in, and there's a dude in the grass. I'm getting popped from behind. I get some heals from my friend and we are good to figure out what else we got going on here okay blue squad is losing but remember we did start by navigating the exterior of the map so hopefully our crazy strategy comes back to help us as we continue through the match da -da 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 da 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 grabbing the fortress point inside i like this map a lot because there's an indoor point um as well as the two outdoor ones i think is kind of a cool dynamic plus uh the windows up in the top of the tower just gives it a very cool look so we're up here and we're gonna open up one of these window hatches and see if we can get some goobers there's definitely some dudes across the way and 
Oh, looks like a flame kit or something tough down there. No, it's not a flame kit, just a support. And he is going to crush me with his rapid fire. And so we will grab our first respawn of the day. Blue squad coming back hard and now taking the lead. We'll switch over to scout, see if we can do some damage uh, from this tower now that we've got a long range gun. And again, I'm worried about Garrett. He's a very, very, very uh, heavy PC player. I'm normally a console guy. And I don't know how I missed this shot here. That I literally felt like I hit him in the face. Don't know how he got me, but okay. Anyhow, Garrett also has this, this victory dance that is so obnoxious. So I had to make sure I beat him so that we didn't have to deal with his freaking brag dance, which has got to be the worst dance in the world. Uh, if you know Jalos Gamers, he's a great guy and a very funny guy. And so I was very concerned about what kind of antics he would pull if we were to lose. Completing some objectives. That's our own dude. Looking for some enemies. There goes one down. And my squad is attacking A. I won't be able to get there in time. So we're gonna have to just keep cover and maybe head upstairs. See if we can uh, deal some C flag damage over here by the battery. Attack orders complete. That's good points. And we will peg that guy. Grabbing the squad assist that counts as the kill. Another kill right there. Doing some decent work. Anybody else? Looks like C could be captured, but I'm afraid to jump down and run in there without any support. Again, those 200 points would be really, really nice, but I'm nervous to do it all by myself. Anybody down here? No, sorry. Oh, God, we've been gassed. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, man, the gas totally threw me off. And uh, we are evaporated by the enemy. But Blue Squad has a slim lead. So we can grab a bunch more flags, hold those points, get the victory in the game, and get the victory over Garrett. This will be a great day. Halfway done. Should have had that guy. Put the shot just behind him. And uh, now he is long forgotten. I need all the points I can get, though. I can't really afford to have many moments... Uh, of, of nothingness because Garrett is probably collecting points as he goes. So, gotta make sure that I get these faster, faster, faster. We're both playing on the Lenovo rigs. Game's looking good. And uh, now there's a flag underneath me. I got my pistol out because we're in close quarters. So let's head downstairs and see if we can cap B for some extra points and maybe take out some targets as well. I don't know who all is there. There's clearly one dude throwing grenades. If it comes to the door, we could pop him with an insta-kill. But in goes my buddy, so I'm going to pop the pistol out. He's going to try to deal with him. I'm going to capture the flag. Ultimately, the flag cap is more points. Got to get out of the way, though. Uh, let's get this 200 from B and try to also take down whatever enemy's in here. Where did he go? Is there someone still in here? Hello? Goodbye? Open the door. Oh, there's a dude. Okay. Coming up the stairs like he just don't care. Oh god. Reload that pistol. Here he is. Okay, got some assist points. That's good. 45. That's a score boost. We'll take it. We are losing objective butter. Uh, heck? Okay, there's guys coming. Whoa! I didn't even know that was one of our own guys, but thank god I got the kill. Okay, defense and the kill points there. All of a sudden they just rushed in out of nowhere. Red squad doing rough rider work. As this match carries itself to the back third. We're up 66-60. And I'm ready to go in once more as support. We're running uh, on the walls here again. I got these weird, weird compatriots who want to just do all sorts of things at the castle. And we're grabbing sea flags. It was a good spawn and a good chance for us to rack up the score and control two-thirds of the map. So we're going to get... The goodies here, and that's another 200 for my score, and attack order complete. Beautiful. Really racking up the points to try to go head-to-head -head against Garito and uh, send him packing with a burrito and grab this win here. So, we're gonna keep trying for B. Looks like another flag chance. Again, I'm playing the mode. I'm not playing the KDR because I want the high score. Dudes are running through. Anybody coming in here? There's somebody. Okay. Got the attack, order, no kill there. Uh-oh. More dudes. Ah, should probably be a little more aggressive. Maybe I should guard the door here. 
Let's see. Oh, hey. There we go. There we go. It's an assist, but I'll take it. Uh-oh. People are getting angry. They're going to come right in. Whoa. Lots of madness. Fire and brimstone. And we got dude trying to come in. Can't seem to get him. Grab a quick reload here. 7970. The game is approaching uh, the final stretches, so we got to pile on the points as best we can. 8071. I need dudes to come in here. I don't want to just go get blindly killed, but I need dudes to come in here. Come on, baby. Come on. Whoa. That's my own guy. Thought I was going to have to bayonet charge him for a second there. Where is it? Whoa, that's a that's a bad dude. Okay, good night and good luck, the weirdo. I don't know how they get so, like, confused and kerfuddled and all jumbed up by the door there. Uh, but we'll grab some heals. Medic is what Garrett said he was going to do. So I'm afraid that his medic uh, mania doing all the heals is just going to get him so many points throughout the match, uh, which will be very difficult to overcome. 87-74, we've come back strong in this game. The blue squad doing work. The fellowship uh, playing tough here. Trying to grab some points, and uh, I got a little hit in there. 21, but we got killed from behind. I should have spun around and done a quick maneuver that I like to call the merry-go-round, but we didn't. It's now 91-76, really extending this lead. And we're back here. We're going to get a cap. Another good spawn just at the perfect time to grab 200 points before they were taken from us. This guy is doing his dance. Where the heck is he? Okay, he's back in there, and we got him. Thank goodness. And it's a defense. That's good. 96. Oh, my God. Get to the very end. Will I have enough points? I get killed. No. And that. 96. Oh, I'm back. Revived. Okay. Uh, any more points I can scrounge up here? 98. 99. Uh, and this guy. I get 20 more points. And that's victory for our team. Will it be enough? We'll have to see the scoreboard. I'll have to compare notes with Garrett and come back to tell you in a minute here. Fingers crossed, baby. Fingers crossed. Okay, guys and girls. Well, I've talked with Garrett. And I have confirmed that he barely beat us by under 100 points, which is super unlucky. But I'm glad I was able to hold my own. I'm not a good Battlefield 1 player by any chance uh, or by any, you know, any way you put it. But I liked this match a lot. It's fun and it runs really well on Lenovo. Good work, Garrett. I'm sorry we lost. Oh, we were so freaking close. I just... I blame it on my fear of Garrett's brag dance. It's a terrifying display of inhumanity, and I was just so worried. I literally, though, was like one capture away from crushing him, and we should have done it. But we'll get them next time. No fear, no worries. Battlefield 1, probably my worst uh, title out of all of these in terms of my performance. So it's Titanfall 2 versus Level Cap Gaming next week. Stay tuned for that. We will return to glory. And make sure you enter to win that laptop. So it's a Y700 laptop from Lenovo. No purchase necessary. All you got to do to enter is tweet using the hashtag Lenovo Ghost Robo Sweepstakes or retweet my tweet about the giveaway. And all this info is in the description if you want to read it again. You must be 13 years of age or older and a legal resident of the 50 United States and District of Columbia to participate. And this runs until December 4th, 2016, 12 4 16. And now I think we are good to go. So make sure to go tweet or retweet my tweet. Very easy ways for you guys to get a great laptop. And we will look to avenge our loss. Garrett, I love you, but I don't want to see your dance. Level Cap Gaming, we're coming for you. Titanfall 2 is my game. So we are going to make quick work of that guy next week. Until then, though, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day and enjoyed this video. The Fall Gaming Challenge has commenced, and it continues next time. Until that time, though, drink so much, all thanks again. You are awesome. I love you, and we will see you all later.